How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to introduce you to the brand new VR room. This here is made by HD Fury. This is a full audio extractor with eARC, ARC, and HDMI 2.1. So on this here, on the front side, we have four ports. These are inputs for your Xbox, your PlayStation, your computer, your Blu-ray player, or whatever else you wanna plug into these ports. But whatever you want video from, goes into these four ports. So on the back side here, we'll swap this around. And here we have our eARC port. This is for your Sonos Arc soundbar, or um, they have it labeled as the Arcana. And then next to that, we have the HDMI cable that is running to our projector. Now this runs directly to our projector and it is labeled as TX1. Um, next to that, we have our white HDMI cable that is leading to our television. So our television is 4K and runs at 180 frames per second. And we are labeling that as the TK0. So if you are not using a Sonos Arc soundbar or like any type of Bose soundbar or something like that, then you'll wanna use this port here. This is an HDMI port that will run directly to your receiver if you're using a, just a standard stereo receiver. And then you have your LAN port and a couple other things on the back here. But just wanted to give you a run through of the cables that come with this as well. You got a VGA cable that runs with it and plugs into just like your standard headset cable. You have a IR cable and then you have your optical cable here. So these three cables come with it along with your power supply. And then we will go through and show you the buttons. So on this side we have, let's focus this in, our down and then we also have our up. So this helps you toggle through the different descriptions and that out there puts the inputs. So on this other side, we have our information button or an exit button and then we have our menu button up top here that also works as a toggle button. So we're gonna go through, I'm gonna turn the screen on here, and you can see that the Xbox, the Samsung TV, and the projector are all running at 4K. So they are 4K, um, and it gives you the ratings for each of them. One's at 371 hertz, uh, uh, 360 megahertz, and then also 360 megahertz. So uh, pretty good quality there. So we're gonna select the menu option with the upper left hand button, and then we have up and down on the right side. So let's go to the menu option. We're gonna use that as a toggle button as well. So you can see here that I'm toggling it on and off. We're gonna leave that off, and then I'm gonna scroll by using the right hand buttons. So we're gonna scroll all the way through until we get to the EDID mode settings. And once we get to that, we are going to go ahead and select our option. So you can see here that I have auto mix on right now. Uh, we are gonna change that and we are going to copy one of the other channels. So it's on fixed, we'll go through to custom and then we're gonna do copy TX1. So that is the mode we have to have it on in order to use uh, the projector the way we would like to use it. So that will use the same imaging and video for the TV and the projector. So if you keep changing through this mode, it's actually gonna cause you to have to restart your VR room. So let's go ahead and leave that there. And if for some reason you do have to restart it, I will show you at the end of this video just to give you a quick walkthrough on how simple it is. So we are set here. Again, if you forgot which cables go where, uh, check back at the beginning of the video and I will explain those as thoroughly as possible. I did notice that when I used the Arcana, the original, um, that I was able to get my Dolby Atmos sound through my projector and also through my uh, television. But now I noticed that for some reason with the projector, I am unable to get my Dolby digital audio, um, the 5.1, to the projector. It's only going PCM on me. Um, I can show you or explain how to change that setting on your projector or on your television but I'll probably just show you on the television just to be quick. But here I'll show you that I'm able to get an image from both the television and the projector at the exact same time. So 
as the screen goes up here, you'll see that the screen behind it, which is a 65 inch um, Samsung TV, has the exact same video. I'll turn the light on, hopefully it shows. Sorry for the glare there from the projector. And we'll go back to the box. So now I'm going to reset the setting. So let's say you accidentally scrolled through and you lost your video for your projector. We will go into um, this setting here. We're gonna scroll through until we find the reset. So once you find the reset, you'll be able to click on that. You'll wanna hit the toggle to turn reset on. And then it will take about 20 seconds and it should do a full reset on this, basically putting this VR room back to its factory default settings. So once that goes black like that, it's gonna turn itself back on and go through all the beginning motions. So again, you have to wait a couple seconds. Um, we're gonna find the menu, let everything sync up before you start hitting the buttons. Or well, I don't know if it will cause it to glitch out or something like that, but let it recognize all the different devices before going any further. And then once it starts to pick up all the devices like so, go back through and we're going to go into the settings. Let's toggle through here. So we're gonna go back through and we're gonna scroll back to where we have our EDID mode. So we're gonna change this back to copy uh, TX1. So there we have it. So now we again have our video back on the projector and on the television. So I'm still learning how to use this device, but I just wanted to share with everybody that this does project the same image while getting sound through your Sonos sound system. I'm currently running the Sonos Arc soundbar. I believe it's the SL. I have the Sonos One SL speakers, and then I have two third generation subwoofers, and the system is absolutely amazing. Um, please share any feedback or any other information that you could help make this system better or using this device because it will take some time to learn it. Thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed the video.